You're looking for enterprise-grade solutions for AI, like this. But having trouble adopting AI and convincing people, seeing too many risks, or not just sure where to start, most organizations want to use AI, but need to protect their IP and their customer details. There are a number of AI solutions out there that are just not enterprise grade and will not pass the test in architecture, security, and privacy domains. You've landed here because you want to create and use AI for financial or insurance business, but getting across the line with stringent privacy and security requirements and ultimately explaining the models is going to be the most difficult parts. I want to share Google Cloud Platform with you and Vertex AI which is Google's machine learning platform. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, leave a comment on what you're working on and check out all my links in the description below. Let's get going. So you're gonna ask me why Google Cloud and Vertex AI for business? Well, Google Cloud is an enterprise grade solution which has been architected and built for business. It's arguably the most reliable, scalable and complies with our security practice that pass even the most sensitive government and financial services tests with secure by design principles, encryption of data, and cloud compliance standards such as ISO, SOC, PCI, and others like HIPAA. So all pretty robust. Vertex and Google Cloud offer the power of generative AI, custom AI, and fine tuning of your data, coupled with integration to the wider applications in Google's toolkit, which can ultimately enhance the business value of AI. What is Vertex AI? Well, Vertex AI is a machine learning platform that lets you train and deploy ML models and applications and customize large language models for your use in your AI powered applications. Vertex AI combines data engineering, data science, ML, ML ops, enabling you and your teams to collaborate using a common tool set and scale your application using the benefits of Google Cloud. You don't have to reinvent the wheel here on your own ML ops or lean analytics. It's all available, all right? All right, so this is all great and well, but now how do I use Vertex and what are the use cases that I can apply it to? Well, there's a couple of use cases um, and there's a couple of ways you can implement AI. The first is generative AI, which is using a, a large language model which is available in Vertex and uh, you can complement it with your data. So the first thing that you can look at doing potentially is sales and marketing, content creation, uh, enabling your advertising and image 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 development material. Uh, the next part is customer service, which enables your chatbots, um, communication styles, personalization, and the list goes on. Uh, you can ultimately also use it for a knowledge base for internal information. So pulling in your PDFs, your documents, your data. Uh, you can create training material, you can create quality information sets and ultimately enhance the knowledge sharing within your organization. Um, technology is probably one of the bigger benef benefits of this uh, generative AI. It aids with programming, analysis, development tasks and expedites that process um, exponentially. The other use cases that you can apply with um, custom AI and trained AI um, is where things are a bit more binary as in true or false or cover accepted or not accepted or um, we've, you've uh, adhered to something or you haven't adhered to something. So a couple of areas um, where it's common is policy and underwriting where you look for adherence on your scripting, um, cover approval for your, um, your products. Um, in claims, you can do streaming, triaging, and popular ones are claim approvals or claim um, held back. And um, you can also look at for assessments and loss adjusting and potentially even sourcing. Right in the finance uh, space within insurance, you can look at the probability of delinquency. You can look for any fraud or any detection of anomalies. And um, ultimately in um, operations, you can start looking at your supply chain approvals. Um, adding in more personalization and covering off some communication as well. So again, quite a few options that you can use uh, Vertex AI for um, and ultimately enhancing your, uh, your business in a number of areas. All right, so the million dollar question, how to implement it? Well, I'm gonna give a really simple example of how to get started with uh, Google Cloud Platform, opening up Vertex AI and having a look at some of the pre-built models that are available. So this is gonna be a quick walkthrough. I will be digging into this a lot more in upcoming videos. Leave a comment of which areas you'd like me to dig into a bit more 
and let's get going. The easiest way to do it is to just sign up for a um, Google Cloud platform and you get a, three, a free $300 credit. Um, so let's do that and I can walk you through that for a second. All right, so what you wanna do is pop in your uh, details. Okay, all right, just pop in your payment details and let's start the free trial. Go next and what describes your role? I am the engineer and the developer. I'm actually everything, but that's okay. It's got done. All right, so we've now got $491 of credits because I'm in New Zealand, so it's obviously a little bit more. Expires in March. What happens when the trial ends? All right, so we can now work on this over here. So go to the Google Cloud over here. All right, so we can go down to Vertex AI. What we're gonna do is really quickly show you how simple it is to create a generative AI model. Um, that you can use in your organization. And I'm not gonna go through everything, but here's basically the notebooks, the gardens, the generative studio, and here's your model ops um, um, framework. All right, so what we're gonna do is go click over here, generative AI studio, click on try. And what we wanna do is we wanna create a um, language model. All right, so access at Palm API for chat and co-generation summarization and more. So this is pretty much like your ChatGPT or Google Bard, um, and it's gonna be obviously local to your instance now. So click on open. Right, so what we're gonna do now is create a prompt. So if you've saved any prompts, you can just go over here. So my prompts, I've created a knowledge base which I've uh, been using, and uh, what we can go do is go back to get started. All right, so if you wanted to have a look at some prompt examples, uh, you can scroll down in your page over here. But what I thought we would do is, let's just create a company chatbot. And what this is gonna enable us to do is have some of our information available as context, and we'll be able to chat with it. So what we're gonna do now is look at the chatbot that's available. And um, before we get into too much detail over here, what we wanna do is just um, note that this over here has a space where you can upload your own information. And here's the responses, so you can test it out. And on the right hand side is um, some parameters and settings that you want to, um, uh, that you might want to adjust. Um, I won't go through everything over here, but what we'll do is just make sure that we're using the correct model. So let's just use the chat bison, which is part of the Palm um, library. And that's always good. All right, temperature is really about understanding how, um, uh, creative your output is going to be. So 0 0.1 is going to be as close to accurate as possible and it's not going to come up with any sort of creative stuff. If you want to get creative, put it as 1 uh, or 0.7 to 0.9 and um, ultimately any tokens that you want to output. Um, I won't go through the top Ks and top Ps as the probabilities, um, which we can get into in the next section. And uh, yeah, we'll just pop it in like that. All right, so the really, really simple interface over here, what we can do is just get rid of this context over here. And let's pop in my company information. So first four data is a consulting company helping AI um, and helping businesses adopt AI. So this is something that we can pop in over here and make sure it looks all right. Okay, so let's clear the conversation. So it doesn't know what I've copied in, it has no idea. Right, so what we can do over here is just say, um, what is first for data? And hit send message. All right, so there we go. So it's basically taken the information I've popped into the context and it's now come up with a bit of a response. Um, very simple example over here of how you can use your own data. There's ultimately bigger and better data sets that you can continue to um, evolve, add other different pieces of documentation from your server or from your uh, company uh, information that passes all your governance, security and privacy. So don't just go upload things. Make sure you do it pr do it properly. Um, that's what I'm ultimately here for, is help you and guide you through best practice and ultimately get the right answers. All right, let's just ask another question over here. Um, when was it founded? All right, so founded in 2018, that's correct. I built a large um, 
uh, claims uh, automation process for a very big insurance company in New Zealand. Uh, so that's all 100% correct. So as you can see, working pretty well. Um, I didn't even have to do anything. All right, so what we can do here is click on save and pop the prompt name in here. And we're just gonna call this first for data demo and hit save. All right, so once the prompt has been saved, uh, what we'll be doing in the next videos is to look at how to actually implement this and create endpoints. So click on view code, and what we'll do is look at the programmatic ways of implementing this in your organization. All right, we're probably gonna do a curl call uh, from our website, but next video, stay tuned for that. Well, that's the end of this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Well, the benefits of having an all-in-one AI and MLOps space for delivering and building AI is brilliant. You don't need to reinvent the wheel, come up with your own frameworks, infrastructure and security requirements. There's so many models that can be plugged into your business. You can start by selecting a single domain, get a little skunk work team going. And if you enjoy this video, check out my website. I have links to information to get you going uh, with some real world scenarios.